welcome back to our program, and let's also welcome in uh, who is joined, the guys are joining us now from Cal State Fullerton. Of course, we're talking about head coach Deidre Taylor and senior forward uh, E.J. Anasiki. Uh, gentlemen, thanks so much for, for coming in and being here with us. Coach, first of all, let's talk to you about, about this season, winning the Big, West, the Big West tournament, making your second NC2A appearance in five years. I know you wanted more. But what a heck of a way to get started. Yeah, it says a lot about the kids. It says a lot about our program in terms of our staff. But most importantly, it says that that's who we are. You know, we come here for the opportunity to take advantage of winning. And we did that. You know, we've done it in a short amount of time. How, how surprised are you in a very short period of time to have had the success that you're having? I'm very surprised. Um, I, I don't look at the success as a measuring stick. I look at just, can we work hard? How hard can we work every single day and can we get better? And I think those, those things, those, the combination of those two things will give you or lead you to success. And EJ, your story is even more incredible. This is your third school. And, and, I, and I'd like for you to talk about why you chose this school and the relationship you have here with Coach because you're all smile sitting here with him right now. <laughs> um, you know, it's been a long journey and something I'm very thankful for. I've grown a lot. I uh, came into college at 18, a young man with not much life experience. And now sitting here at, at 23, I learned a lot. And um, it's just beautiful playing for coach at Cal State Fullerton to give him an opportunity to win and make history. And not alone, just growing as a man, being our good people, and just having a coach that really believed in everything I could do. You just mentioned something that's very important, how he helped you to grow as a man. I'd like you to talk specifically about how he did that. You know, um, you know, coming in, uh, last year I was at a high major school, at a big school, and I didn't have the success that I wanted. So it's easy for a lot of players to get down on themselves, but I stayed true to myself and true to my dreams. And all the countless hours in the summer, putting in the work, uh, staying on me, holding me accountable. And we always talk about building a legacy. Uh, the past is the past, today is today. And you build for the future, the decision you make today. So. That really helped me push myself to I guess can, what I got I can to. see how. Coach, what was it like going against Coach K? It was an honor. It was yeah. a pleasure. And I tell you, it, you know, every, Coach K stands for everything that we know as college basketball mm -hmm. in terms of the success, in terms of the impact, um, in terms of, of, of leadership. Everything you know about college basketball is, is what Coach K is all about. And so to be on the other sideline and, and compete against him, I think, was the most important thing is our guys – that didn't matter to them. They just yeah. competed. And for that, I will, ever, I, f I will forever hold that near to my heart. And one of the things that I like the most is that when you walked on the floor with him, you weren't intimidated at all. You felt like that game should belong to you. I loved it. Yeah. I, loved, <laughs> I loved to compete. Uh, that's one thing about me. I grew up in New Jersey and East Orange, so everything, we play for keeps where we're mm -hmm. from. So when you step on the court, it's personal, and you just give it your all. I, no matter what the score is, just compete and give it all and leave it all out there. And that's what I felt like I did and my teammates did. And for that, I'll always be thankful and I'm proud of those guys for everything that comes this year and all the work we put in. Gives you goosebumps just listening to him talk. Without question, without question. And knowing you had a great deal to do with it. I wish. You, no, 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 <laughs> we know he did. All right, now, here we go. This is gonna be a lot of fun because Meta and Coach both want to chime in on this, on this interview. So Meta, you actually met EJ when he was just 16 years old? I know, he showed me the picture. I was like, oh wow, I was very surprised to see that. In, Look uh, at that. In Queens, man. <laughs> now he's a big man now. <laughs> playing against Duke and playing well, man. I'm really uh, proud of you and want to say congrats. And yeah, you got a couple questions for you, man. I know you double majoring right now in a, a MBA. And uh, well, to tell us about that. Uh, you know, um, my mother, she immigrated this country in 1978. Uh, she didn't have a high school education. But she came to this country so her kids got an opportunity that she wasn't fortunate enough to have. So growing up, she pushed education a lot. And when I came to college, she, she wanted me to get my master's. She wanted me to become a doctor. And um, I told her I'd finish and I'd get my degrees. And I finished my undergrad in three years. I uh, went to Tennessee and I got my first master's in nine months. And I came to Cal State Fullerton and I'm pursuing my MBA in management. And uh, that will be my second master's and she's really proud of that. I'm, I'm sitting next to greatness. <laughs> that, is, that is for sure, Coach. Well, I've got a question for Coach Taylor. I'm, it's very difficult to make it to the NCAA tournament. You at Cal State Fullerton have done it two out of the four years. What's the secret to your success? I, well, I, I sit next to an East Coast guy. I've got to give credit to, to, to the East Coast. You know, we had two guys lead us um, with, with EJ and KJ. Um, lead us. But I think most importantly, just, just the opportunity to come out west and bring that hard helmet and, and 
and workman like leadership towards our program and um, the opportunity to win is right there for the asking and they took a, took advantage of it. Well, Coach and EJ, I can't thank you guys enough uh, for coming in here. Good luck to you. Thank you. And see you at the next level. <laughs> thank you so much. There you go. And you know what that next level is. Of course. You better believe the NBA. All right, my friends, stay right where you are because coming up next.